Hello, friend, Mormozine here, and if you love Thanksgiving, stick around and watch this video because today we're talking about how to make a budget for your Thanksgiving meal. If you are planning to host Thanksgiving at your house this year, but money is tight, the first thing you should do is sit down and make a budget. This will help you stop going crazy with your spending just because it is a holiday and will also prevent you from buying more groceries than you need and then having the food go to waste. Budgeting for the holidays. Budgeting in advance can help you spread the cost of Thanksgiving over several months, not just one. Estimate how many people you will have visiting on the day itself. If your relatives will also be staying with you, factor in the cost of all meals, transportation, entertainment, and more while they will be with you. Making a list of essentials. Menu planning is one of the best ways to make sure you have everything you want but don't go overboard. Decide on whole turkey or turkey breast, which will be a lot more expensive and side dishes. Plan your leftovers as well, such as stock made from the boiled up bones of the turkey carcass at the end of your feast. Other items you might need to buy include decorations, party wear, and so on. Then there is alcohol and other beverages which can really start to add up if you're not careful. <laughs> By making a list, you can ensure you have everything you need. You can also do your research, comparison shop, clip coupons, and plan ahead by buying food when it is cheapest, usually harvest time in the autumn. You can also pick up bargains at farmer's markets or local orchards and farms. The food will be fresher and not drowned in pesticides. Autumn fruits and vegetables are cheap, tasty side dishes that can really stretch your holiday meal and your budget too. Use coupons and look out for special deals at services like Fresh Direct, which often give discounts at this time of year to get you to try their service. The prices can be good if you shop the sales and of course, it's convenient to have your groceries delivered. Check out all the store flyers in your area and clip coupons from the Sunday papers. Make a list of everything you want to buy, estimate the cost in round figures, and start setting aside that money. Avoid the temptation to use credit cards. If you don't pay off your bill before it's due, you'll end up paying interest which means losing any savings you might have gained from your bargain hunting. As you shop, cross things off your list and note down how much you have spent. The trick is to get all the things on your list and hopefully spend less than you have budgeted for. Other ways to save. One final way to save is to suggest everyone bring a dish to the festivities. Most people have a specialty item they love to cook, and it takes the burden off you and your stove or oven as well as your wallet. Make a list of what people promise to bring so there is no overlap. If they can't cook, suggest they bring a beverage. They never go stale. And thanks so much for watching. Please comment, thumbs up or thumbs down and leave a message and click the links in the description and have a happy thanksgiving